Hey, I'm 27. Uh, what specifically did you do with $820 to get the ball rolling? Well, I paid my rent first, as I recall. Um, no, I mean, car payment. No, no. I paid a car payment. Um, but see, I founded the company with $1,000, like a lot of people do. I had an 18% partner who happened to be the former secretary of the treasurer under Eisenhower. Oh, he was a big hitter, and that's why I was in 30 Rock. Uh, so it, it wasn't the 820. It was we formed the company for $1,000. I happened to own 82% uh, of it. Uh, he ultimately uh, gave me his stock. One of the things you guys worry about is, well, if I give stock away to these pricks, and then I want to throw them out, what do we do? 99 times out of 100, they give you the stock back for nothing. You worry about things that don't happen. <coughs> In 28 and a half years, I've had three problems with getting the stock back. All with Josh Kim. Three in 28 and a half years. He went through 25 directors in three years. Three chairmen, three CEOs, three, because he's a kid. When you're 17, 18, you don't know dick other than how to jack off. And he picked the wrong people for his board. Just as some of you will. And that's why you're afraid to do it, even if you're 35. Why would anybody that has created $600 million come be on my board when I can barely wipe my ass and chew gum at the same time? That's why you don't do it. And we all know that. And that's why I wrote QLA for Dummies. Thank you. I'm Mr. Pena, 33. What's the process to build a company into the tens of billions versus a few million or hundreds? Well, million? I mean, there's, there's a low-hanging fruit, which I recommend for everybody, because the uh, probabilities of you being successful are much greater. But then there's elephant hunting. And then there's dinosaur hunting. Anneli, uh, uh, a black kid from South Africa, uh, created 32 million in EBITDA in 30 months, which is... I'm still checking on the number. It's got to be a record for my kids. So you put a multiple on 32 million EBITDA. 10, 12, 14, and 30 months. So, but I suggest you don't do that. And because of Nelly now, we got all kinds of kids trying to do it. But I mean, Nelly is one in 10,000. So are you going to be two in 10,000? That's what you're really asking yourself. But the, the big companies. But cash flow has always got to be covered, covered debt service. At least one and three quarters or two and a half times. Okay? Uh, I'm 21 years old. My name is Lewis. I was able to build an $8.4 billion board with your teachings. Uh, my first two questions are, what is the fastest way to get through the Not prospects? Not your first two questions. You're going to ask one question. Okay. What is the fastest way to get through the prospects when call calling? Oh, banks, okay. This is also on the you know, get, get by the gatekeepers. You know, the people that are going to try to keep you from talking to them. Right? That's who you're talking about. Uh, no, like... I get a lot of lead partners, and then they sometimes don't explain the model perfectly to the... Well, now you, gotta, you, you want the apex, alpha partner. 99% of you guys make presentations to the wrong people. Because you're so fucking happy that somebody's going to talk to you. You don't know the difference between a prospect and a suspect. A suspect is somebody that will talk to you that can't make a decision. A fucking prospect is somebody that's going to sell to you or buy from you. Are you, are you the final decision maker, Jack? Hi, my name's Dan Pena. I'm with ABC Consortium, Investment Consortium. We've, uh, uh, we've done, as a team, uh, $72 trillion in deal. Uh, have you ever, ever thought of selling? Just like, you want to fuck? I mean, boom. Don't fuck around. You guys spend too much time on the phone. What I mean is when you call... I know exactly what you mean, but you're not listening. You're not asking for the... Are you the final decision maker, asshole? Or not? Accounting firms and law firms. No, no. What, what, what are you trying to roll up? Accounting firms and law firms? No, no. Uh, when you call, call accounting firms and law firms. Oh, you mean to get delayed fees? Yes. Okay. Well, then you guys, you're, you're, one, <coughs> you're not making enough calls. Start with a, a smaller law firms and the smaller accounting firms, working your way up to the big four or the big ten uh, law firms. There, every firm in America and in Europe has a development budget for new business. And if they say no, you, well, I say, you lying piece of shit. You mean you don't have a business development budget? What the fuck's wrong with you? But see, you won't talk that way. I don't take no for an answer. I'll fucking try, I'm in the room, I'll choke your eyes out. 
Hi, Mr. Pena. My name is Brandon. I'm 25 from New Jersey. Uh, you oh mentioned... my God, a New Jersey boy. Then admits it. Go ahead. You mentioned that if people knew who the founder of Bitcoin was, it would go to zero. Uh, being so politically incorrect as you are, why not just say who the founder of Bitcoin is? You don't get it. No. It, it, it's, it's, I have no benefit. You show me a benefit for me saying that. I'm already the best there is. I don't need any more smoke blowing up my ass or any more accolades. But believe me, when it happens, for those, I, I don't want to know who owns Bitcoin. You will shit yourselves. You will shit yourself. Okay, next question. Uh, hello, Mr. Pina. Uh, uh, I am 21 years old, from Poland. Uh, from where? From Poland. My question is, uh, what do you think about uh, manufacturing business? Like, manufacturing? Uh, I don't like manufacturing, because you have to know how to manage. And yeah. most of you don't know how to manage. And I've never seen a manufacturing business that had 40% margins. And if you have uh, people who know the business? No, I don't care. I don't care if you got Jesus Christ or Muhammad. I mean, <laughs> manufacturing is hard. You got to really know how to manage. And most of the kids, and the reason why, the, uh, if they can't do, they teach. So, so, so some of your board members, you ask them, the last business they had, what was the margin? And it's probably 2, 3, 4%. It's like retail. I mean, you got to really know what to do to, uh, to go into retail that operate at 2, 3%. Percent. Manufacturing, forget, do something else. What type of industry would you recommend? What? What type of other industry would, uh, would you recommend? Healthcare. Hel I mean, I recommend everybody just get up and leave. I have no more questions. Healthcare, okay. low hanging fruit. There's 30, <laughs> that's, there, that's there's 91,000, no, it's more than that. Let's call it 100,000 low hanging fruit, healthcare, assisted living, home health, and the 50 states. Last thing, should I start in Poland or... Uh, in no, you should start wherever you want. It doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't matter. Okay, next. Okay, thanks. Hello, Mr. Pena. My name is Nick, 21 years old, from Greece. I have a question. I'm about to finish college, and I just want to do a fresh start, and I want to know what should I do to become successful? Show me your friends, and I'll show you your future. You got about a Greek bum relatives. I mean, you ought to put a bullet in their head. I mean, there's other Greeks in this room. And I mean, uh, most Greeks are worthless pieces of shit. That's just the way it is. I mean, they just are. But you were Mr. Gratos, you said. Well, I was like his son, okay? I'm the last white person to ever be successful in an Onassis group. I was, actually, I was the first and only, okay? And the Greeks hated me. They, you know, they, they did everything humanly possible to make sure I got fucked up, but they, I was smarter than they were, okay? There was a guy named Anagopoulos. I still, you made me think, you kind of look like him. Anagopoulos, he changed his name to Anderson, but he still spoke with a Greek accent. And I said, hey, Andy, do you think that's fooling anybody? I mean, you sound like a Greek cab driver. Thank you. Next. Hey, Dan, um, I'm 24, and I had a question for you about, um, so I have a, a company that I've been building over, uh, building up, over the last couple of years. And right now, it's pretty successful. I would say it's pretty good. And I wanted to build other companies, have different No, 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 one. You can only put your dick in one hole at a time. <laughs> I'm telling you how it is. No, no, and you don't look bright enough to do two or three, so just stick. <laughs> how do you, like, if you're gonna go to another one, but. I just said, what are you, deaf? Yeah, yeah no, I understand. <laughs> But that one is your, your, like, your bread earner, you know? No, How yeah, you well, cover, I'm fine. you call it whatever you want. How do you I'm just telling you, build that company out, you don't like, and then exit, and then do another one. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Is there now? Uh, <laughs> okay, next. All right, thank you. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Pena, I'm 14. You talked a lot about... Did you say... 14 years old, yes. Oh, I, I, My parents I thought that was an right? echo in the room. He did something, Well, right? I, I thought I knew the youngest in the room, but I guess I don't. Well, here's the thing. You talked a lot about, you know, the first seven years of, of your life, you know, setting self up. Self-esteem. Exactly. Built. You know, who you surround yourself with, the first seven years of life, set, you know, tells your future. You'll never hear me say this again, but I got beat 101 times as a child. It wasn't enough. You'll never hear me say that again. But how, is, how does one go about reversing that process? Now, okay, with great fucking difficulty. The Catholic Church used to say in the homily, you give me your children the first seven or eight years, 
and the church will own them for life. They took that out several years ago. Um, it, it was great difficulty. I mean, you, you, the 13 and 14 year old, I showed it here uh, earlier, left home at 13 and 14. They got arrested because you can't leave home at 13 or 14 because you're not an adult. There's all kinds of problems, but they did. They ran away. They ran away to Australia. How they got the money, I have no idea. You know, the, uh, the good looking one, I think, was a male whore for a while. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but you got to get away from your family. You know, it's just, it's an awful thing to say. It's a shitty way to run a railroad. But your parents fuck you up. They do. And uh, uh, I'm going to ask, even though I know, what country are you originally from? United yeah, States of America. No, no, I, I mean your family. India. Uh, well, I lived in India. I paid my penance. I don't have to go to purgatory. We lived in fucking India. We lived in Bangalore, and we lived in uh, Gurgaon, outside Delhi. I mean, smartest people on the planet, according to Jack Welch, Bill Gates, and Steve Jobs, come from southern India. Okay? So you got to get away from them. They're fucking you up. They know they're fucking you up. Hey, if they got any money, tell them write your check and just leave. Like I said, I got beat 101 times, but it definitely wasn't enough. Okay, 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 next. 27 years old. Um, I've heard you say in a couple of your seminar videos uh, that you've had a U.S. or non-U.S. citizen mentees that made it work or made QLA work in the U.S. No, what do you mean? Are you saying that I've said that there's no Americans that have made it work in America? I'm saying that you've had non-U.S. citizen mentees. Oh, no, I've that, had non-U.S. citizens that make it made it work. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm from the UK, and I've been told my, by immigration attorneys that I can't own more than 49% of a company. So is there a... Is this yeah, sort of get a, a better lawyer. <laughs> That's easy. I'm 43 years old, so my question is, uh, you know, you always say you've been fucked in every orifice, like, at least twice, right? So every, no, every uh, poor. Every poor, right. <laughs> So my, right along those lines, my question is this. Um, can you elaborate a little on some of the... How they got the penis in my toe? What do you mean? <laughs> no, my question is, could you maybe elaborate a little bit more on some of the accounting firms, law firms, banks that are more QLA friendly and uh, some maybe that have fucked four, you? All the big four and uh, actually the big six are all QLA friendly. We own the um, low-hanging fruit in the home health and assisted living market from QLA does, from uh, Washington, D.C. to the Keys on the East Coast, okay? We own it in Oklahoma, uh, Mississippi, Arkansas, uh, the shit belt in there, you know, poor, poor, poor black and poor white and poor, white trash. We own that market in there. Um, but um, the big law firms, all the big law firms, do stuff with us. Um, the, uh, they're, uh, in other parts of the world, uh, in Europe, we own it. It, it, it. Whereas 20 years ago, you would have to fight to explain to these pricks. But now you don't have to explain anymore. As soon as you tell them cash flow covers debt service by 1.75 to two and a half times, you're in their jeans and you're fucking them in the ass. There's nobody. It's just an absolute. It didn't used to be that way, but it is now. It is now. Thank you. And most of the people that I really fucked over in my youth are either dead, dementia, or in jail now. So you don't have to worry about that. So there's nobody that you'd say, hey, stay away from these guys. No, 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 no. All right. Thank you. Okay, next. So, uh, Mr. Pena, I'm from the, uh, the state that you hate, uh, Alabama. Which Alabama! <clears throat> Bear Bryant was a friend of mine. Oh, was he? Yes, he was. Oh, he's I'm big old guy. enough. Oh. Okay, by Bear Bryant. Yeah. God rest his soul. In fact, I have one of his hounds. Uh, I, I don't know where it is now. The hound's tooth hat he used to wear. I've yeah. got one someplace. But anyway, go. How can I help you? Well, I'm uh, I'm hearing impaired. Uh, wore hearing aids all my life. Uh, had speech therapy and improving that. And I want to get into. Uh, well, you speak audiology. pretty good. Yeah, speech therapy. For, for a Bama guy, for a black Bama guy, you speak pretty well. You're damn right, black I mean, man. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, better than uh, Shannon Sharp, right? Yeah, that's oh, right. Oh, Lord, God damn. Okay. But anyway, um, the reason why I'm here, uh, sir, is because um, I want to get into the audiology department, uh, role of audiologies, um, 
And you I mean the to, ear doctors? Okay. Is that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, that's it. Thank absolutely, you. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, sir. Hello, Mr. Peña. I'm 41 and I'm from Mexico. No yeah. me diga. <laughs> Qué barbaridad. I What's have up? A, I have a construction company and I'm wondering if you can consider making new developments, new real estate developments as a QLA deal. No, uh, no, it's not. You can buy your kind of companies as a roll-up, but uh, using them, and we have one of my most successful mentees, Marcus Bauer, uh, uh, the, uh, who has, he, he's from the soup to the nuts, where he buys the land, he does the plot, the planning, gets the planning permission, and, uh, and he owns the paint company, and, this, and he owns the whole vertical. Um, and he's buying companies like that, uh, but the... Uh, most developers are property rich and cash poor, okay? And until you sell the project, okay, you know, you, you know it's, it's, it's a pretend money. And so uh, the, the, it's very difficult to, to, even though the banks are stupid, it's very difficult to get banks to, to uh, finance pretend money. We're getting financed by Okay, banks. well, God bless you. That's good. So, but it's easier. I've got a guy in Guadalajara that's rolling up hospitals. I, would, I told him that I didn't, there's easier ones than hospitals. But a lot of people like, uh, you know, one, you're de dealing with elephants, big size, big, big numbers. And, um, and the reason why I tell you not to buy the real estate with the dental practices or the chiropractors is because the cash flow rarely covers the debt service with the building included. Uh, it covers the debt service for the actual business revenue but the building, you know, and uh, of course, uh, their accountant told them to build the building, blah, 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 blah. So, um, but I mean, uh, if your model works, then keep doing it. Thank you. You're welcome.